Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Bobby Valentino has been a hot topic, but not for the reasons that he would like to be. Everybody's been trolling him over this whole escort situation. And what he has to say is, why don't y'all pay attention to some of the great things that he's doing? Here's what Bobby Valentino said. But the Bobby V Foundation, I've graduated over 15 students from college. How many haters done did that? We give away turkeys and gifts to families that are underserved in the underserved communities. Let's talk about that for the Bobby V Foundation. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's repost that too. So maybe y'all will donate to the Bobby V Foundation. So basically, Bobby is not denying it. No, he's just saying, why, why are we focusing on this? Here's what else he had to say. I've been doing that for 10 years, and I can't get nobody to come out and cover that. Y'all run that on the morning show. So my next function I have for the Bobby V Foundation, we can get some coverage on it. Y'all can talk about that. All right, we'll talk about it. When's his next, organ- when's his next function? I don't know about Bobby's, but mine is tomorrow uh, in Monks Corner, South Carolina at the Berkeley <laughs> High School Gymnasium from 3 to 6 p.m. You can go get your book pack, book bags and school supplies courtesy courtesy of me and my nonprofit, Third Eye Awareness. Thank and you. And by the way, we did have Bo- Bobby Valentino up here to promote his movie, and I actually watched some, some of it as How was well. was it? It was okay. People can't get mad when it's things about them in the Hollywood news. Hollywood hearts. Like Everybody you, does that. Yeah, though. you can't do that though. You either gonna address it or you not. You can't get mad about it. Like you know what you signed up for when you got into this business. All right, here's more of Bobby Valentino venting. Cause the memes is funny as hell. Y'all took as much time making memes as you did with doing something constructive. There'd be a lot of rich black folk out here, and that's the real talk. Oh, they funny. <laughs> No, don't, you, don't you be chastising people, Bobby. If that is you on that video, you wasn't doing nothing constructive either, but walking around looking like Winnie the Pooh. He was on Pooh. a bike. He was walking around looking like Winnie the Pooh with just a shirt on. I ain't talking about that video. I'm talking about, <laughs> talking about the about video, video yeah. when he got caught with the, the, the trans woman, allegedly, okay? He was walking around with just a T-shirt on, like you the new Winnie the Pooh, mm. and now you want to chastise people for not doing something constructive. He mad. Well, I know he's glad he had on a doing. long T-shirt, at least. The only imagine thing he had on a crop shirt. Huh, it'd been all over. It'd been Everything all bad. Been out. The only thing constructive about what he did was when he did that little jog at the end to get a little cardio. He looked tired doing that little That's jog. it. Stop it. If that was you. All right. The Allegedly. Lollapalooza Music Festival was canceled last night because of weather concerns. That's terrible, man. I know a lot of people were out there about... 400,000 people. What was that, in Chicago, right? Yes, that's in Chicago, at Chicago's Hmm. Grant Park. They had to evacuate around 9 p.m. while the headliners were still performing on stage. So uh, that's pretty dramatic. That's terrible. Imagine you're going out there. But that's one of the concerns about having an outdoor festival. Anything could happen. All right. Now, the Carmichael Show. Let's talk about that show being canceled. Execs are now explaining what happened. We don't want to hear from you. So what they said was uh, it was hard to find a stable audience. They said that they had gotten more seasons than lots of their other series that had been canceled earlier on. They said, we love the show and the cast and Gerard from the start. It's been a labor of love. Everyone was hoping the show would perform and grow. We saw a great stable audience slowly building with critical attention, but it remained in a challenging situation. We looked at the show with Gerard and asked, what's the long-term plan? Is there a chance for real big success? Maybe it's best to let the show end. I think they should have brought it back. Carl Michael's show was the best sitcom on television. Okay. Amazing cast. Loretta Devine, David Allen Greer, Little Rail, Jamar, Gerard Carmichael, Tiffany Haddish. I forget the other young lady's name, but that was a great show. I yeah, love well, Carmichael you know what? Show. They also didn't rule out that perhaps the show could be brought back because they said some of their other series had been canceled earlier on but got more seasons after. So you never know what could I happen. would like to see it on Netflix or something, but that's just me. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your... Oh, I didn't get to Usher. Oh, a- Amber Stevens West. That's the other young lady's name. I'm gonna call oh, and show. Usher's wife, by the way, Grace McGill, because he is married. Right. They are not having any issues over these lawsuits and these women that are suing Usher. Sources close to the couple are saying that Grace is not concerned at all about allegations that Usher slept with the women who was suing him at least uh, twice this year. They're saying that she just doesn't believe it. The woman suing has a history with Usher. And she was a close friend of his first wife, Tamika. Usher handling it the right way, though. He's not addressing. I it. wouldn't address the, if it. I wouldn't address the nonsense either. If it's foolishness, let it be foolishness. Plus, people are gonna believe what they want anyway. Regardless, because nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Yeah. So you can come out and say you don't have herpes. Nope, nobody, nobody gonna, gonna believe you. Because right. I'd rather make this meme that says you does have herpes. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, he and that is your that how I go. rumor report. All right. All right. Bobby Valentino says, "Stop sitting around making memes." Bobby Valentino better be relaxed, okay, before I respond to this email from the young woman he was with, all right? Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. The-
Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.